Imagine growing up with two father figures, each offering radically different financial advice. That's what Robert Kiyosaki experienced, and his book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, shares the invaluable lessons he learned. One dad, his biological father, the poor dad, encouraged him to seek job security, while the rich dad, his best friend's father, taught him how to achieve financial freedom. Kiyosaki's insights offer a new way of thinking about money, education, and investing. Stick around as we break down Rich Dad, Poor Dad, chapter by chapter, to give you the keys to mastering your financial destiny. Chapter 1. Rich Dad, Poor Dad Kiyosaki introduces the contrasting financial philosophies of his two father figures. Poor Dad values a steady job and financial security, while Rich Dad promotes entrepreneurship and financial independence. Poor Dad believed in working hard for money, while Rich Dad believed in making money work for you. Rich Dad emphasized that financial education is key to escaping the rat race of working for a paycheck. Poor Dad encouraged formal education and climbing the corporate ladder. Rich Dad saw financial literacy as essential. Kiyosaki learned that schools teach us how to make money but not how to manage or grow it. Rich Dad highlighted the difference between assets, which put money in your pocket, and liabilities, which take money out. The book encourages readers to focus on building assets to achieve long-term financial freedom. Poor Dad viewed a house as an asset, while Rich Dad explained that it can be a liability due to maintenance costs. Kiyosaki's experiences shaped his understanding that working for someone else limits financial potential. Rich Dad stressed the importance of financial independence through investments, real estate, and business ownership. Poor Dad's mindset represented the majority who rely on job security. Rich Dad's represented the minority who become financially free. The chapter introduces the concept of financial intelligence, which Rich Dad says is critical for success. Kiyosaki learned to question traditional advice about money, like saving versus investing. Rich Dad believed that financial struggles are caused by a lack of financial education, not income level. This chapter emphasizes the importance of learning how to manage money rather than just earning it. Rich Dad taught that financial freedom comes from owning income-generating assets. Kiyosaki introduces readers to the mindset shift necessary to think like the wealthy. The core message is that your financial future depends on the choices you make about money and education. The chapter ends with a call to action to start thinking differently about money and wealth. It sets the stage for the upcoming lessons on how to change your financial future through self-education and smart investing. Chapter 2. The Rich Don't Work for Money Kiyosaki shares a key lesson from Rich Dad. The rich don't work for money, they make money work for them. Poor Dad believed in working hard for a paycheck. Rich Dad taught that relying on a paycheck limits your earning potential. This chapter focuses on shifting from an employee mindset to an investor mindset. Kiyosaki learns that the wealthy don't trade time for money. They build assets that generate income. Rich Dad emphasizes that financial independence comes from creating streams of passive income. The poor and middle class are often trapped in a cycle of working for money, paying bills, and repeating the process. Rich Dad teaches that focusing on building assets rather than working harder is the key to wealth. Kiyosaki and his friend Mike were put to work by Rich Dad, who taught them about entrepreneurship by paying them very little. This lesson forced them to think creatively about how to generate income beyond a wage. The chapter explains the concept of financial risk and how the rich manage it to their advantage. Rich Dad taught that fear and desire are the two emotions that control financial decisions. Poor Dad advised avoiding risks, while Rich Dad believed calculated risks are necessary for financial success. This chapter encourages readers to take control of their financial future by learning how money works. Kiyosaki learned that financial education gives people the tools to create opportunities, rather than relying on luck. The rich leverage investments, real estate, and businesses to generate income without constantly working. Kiyosaki explains that job security is an illusion and that true security comes from financial literacy and independence. The chapter underscores the importance of breaking free from the rat race and building wealth on your own terms. Kiyosaki encourages readers to look for opportunities to grow their wealth rather than just settling for a paycheck. Rich Dad believed that learning how to invest is the key to escaping financial struggle. This chapter challenges the reader to stop thinking like an employee 
and start thinking like an entrepreneur or investor. Chapter 3. Why Teach Financial Literacy? Kiyosaki stresses that financial literacy is the foundation of financial success. Most people struggle financially because they don't understand the basics of how money works. Rich Dad taught that simply earning more money doesn't solve financial problems. Managing money does. The chapter explains the importance of understanding income statements and balance sheets. An income statement shows money flowing in, income, and money flowing out, expenses. A balance sheet details what you own, assets, and what you owe, liabilities. Kiyosaki learned that financial literacy involves understanding how these financial documents work together. Rich Dad emphasized that it's not how much money you make, but how much money you keep that matters. The rich focus on acquiring assets, while the poor and middle class focus on earning more income. The chapter explains that many people struggle because they confuse liabilities for assets. Financially literate people know that real assets generate income, while liabilities drain it. Rich Dad taught Kiyosaki to buy assets that grow in value, like real estate, stocks, and businesses. Poor Dad focused on buying things that don't generate income, like cars and houses. The chapter emphasizes the importance of financial education over traditional schooling. Rich Dad believed that true wealth comes from building a solid foundation of financial knowledge. Financial literacy involves understanding how taxes, inflation, and interest rates impact your money. Rich Dad encouraged Kiyosaki to learn how to minimize taxes legally and take advantage of investment opportunities. The chapter explains how financial education can protect people from being taken advantage of. Kiyosaki emphasizes that without financial literacy, even high earners can end up broke. This chapter encourages readers to invest time in learning how to manage their money and build real wealth. Chapter 4. Mind Your Own Business Kiyosaki explains that financial independence is achieved by focusing on building your own assets, not just working for someone else. Most people spend their lives working for others, building other people's businesses rather than their own. Rich Dad taught that while having a job is important, it's crucial to start acquiring assets on the side. This chapter emphasizes the importance of not getting trapped in the rat race, working to pay bills without building wealth. Kiyosaki encourages readers to invest time and money into creating their own businesses or investments. He explains that the rich focus on building businesses and investments that generate passive income. Rich Dad advised Kiyosaki to always keep his eyes on building assets even when he had a job. One of the key takeaways is that the rich own assets that work for them, while the poor and middle class work for their money. Kiyosaki stresses that even if you have a job, you should always be minding your own business building your own financial future. The chapter encourages readers to invest in assets like real estate, stocks, bonds, and businesses. Rich Dad believed that entrepreneurship and investments offer the best path to financial freedom. Poor Dad thought job security was everything, but Rich Dad focused on financial security through business ownership. Kiyosaki learned that even if you work for a company, you should always keep building your personal wealth on the side. The chapter teaches that financial independence means having assets that generate income regardless of whether you're working or not. Kiyosaki encourages people to buy and build things that increase in value over time, like real estate and investments. One of the biggest mistakes people make is confusing liabilities for assets. They spend money on things that drain their income. Rich Dad emphasized the importance of buying real assets that put money in your pocket. Kiyosaki learned to see his investments and business ventures as seeds that would grow into financial independence. The chapter teaches that creating multiple streams of income through assets is the key to breaking free from financial struggles. Kiyosaki challenges readers to think long-term and start building their own business, even if it's small at first. Chapter 5. The History of Taxes and the Power of Corporations Kiyosaki explains how taxes disproportionately affect the poor and middle class while the wealthy benefit from tax advantages. The chapter delves into the history of taxation, explaining how it was initially introduced to tax the rich but eventually impacted the poor more. Rich Dad taught Kiyosaki that the wealthy use corporations to protect their assets and minimize taxes. Corporations provide legal protection and tax benefits that individuals don't have access to. This chapter emphasizes that the rich use the corporate structure to shelter their income from heavy taxation. 
The poor and middle class pay taxes on income first, then spend what's left. The rich spend first, then pay taxes on what's left. Kiyosaki explains the benefits of owning a corporation and how it allows the wealthy to control their money more efficiently. Rich Dad taught Kiyosaki how to set up corporations to take advantage of tax breaks and reduce liabilities. Corporations can deduct business expenses before paying taxes, allowing the rich to reduce their taxable income. Kiyosaki stresses the importance of understanding tax laws and using them to your advantage. He explains that most people don't take advantage of tax benefits because they lack financial education. The chapter encourages readers to think like the rich by learning how to use tax laws and corporations to build wealth. Kiyosaki learned that financial intelligence includes knowing how to legally minimize your tax burden. The poor and middle class focus on earning more money, but the rich focus on keeping more of what they earn through tax strategies. Rich Dad taught that corporations allow the wealthy to reinvest their income before paying taxes. Kiyosaki encourages readers to increase their financial IQ by learning about taxes, investments, and corporate structures. This chapter teaches that working smarter, not harder, is key to financial success. Using legal structures to protect your wealth. Kiyosaki explains that the rich play by a different set of rules when it comes to taxes thanks to their understanding of corporate law. Understanding how taxes and corporations work can help anyone build and protect wealth over time. The chapter concludes by emphasizing the importance of financial literacy in navigating taxes and building financial independence. Chapter 6. The Rich Invent Money Rich Dad believed that the rich get richer by learning how to invent money, creating opportunities where others see obstacles. Kiyosaki explains that the wealthy think creatively about how to generate wealth, while the poor and middle class only think about earning more. This chapter highlights the importance of financial creativity and problem-solving in becoming wealthy. Kiyosaki shares that financial intelligence allows you to see opportunities where others only see risk. The rich know how to leverage their money, time, and resources to create new wealth streams. Poor Dad taught Kiyosaki to work hard for money, but Rich Dad taught him to use his mind to make money work for him. This chapter emphasizes that wealth is not about having money, but about having ideas and the ability to act on them. Kiyosaki learned that the rich create value through businesses, investments, and financial strategies. Financial education helps people see potential opportunities in investments, real estate, and entrepreneurship. Rich Dad encouraged Kiyosaki to think outside the box and take calculated risks to grow his wealth. The chapter explains that the poor and middle class often miss opportunities because they're focused on security, not growth. Kiyosaki emphasizes that taking action on opportunities is what separates the rich from the poor. The wealthy understand how to use other people's money, OPM, and resources to build wealth. Kiyosaki encourages readers to invest in their financial education so they can identify and capitalize on opportunities. Rich Dad taught Kiyosaki to look for ways to make money work harder for him through smart investments. The chapter explains that calculated risk is necessary to create wealth, but it requires financial knowledge and strategy. Kiyosaki shares that the rich continually learn and adapt to new opportunities, while others stay stuck in outdated methods. The ability to create money comes from seeing opportunities and knowing how to act on them. Rich Dad's lesson was that financial success comes from thinking differently and being proactive about building wealth. The chapter encourages readers to take control of their financial future by thinking creatively and continuously seeking opportunities to grow wealth. Chapter 7. Work to Learn, Don't Work for Money Kiyosaki emphasizes that the key to financial success is to work to learn, not just to earn a paycheck. Rich Dad taught that jobs are temporary learning opportunities, but the real goal should be acquiring new skills. This chapter highlights the importance of learning multiple disciplines, such as sales, investing, and management, to build wealth. Kiyosaki explains that many people focus on earning money, but neglect to invest in their financial education. Rich Dad encouraged Kiyosaki to always be learning new things that would help him grow his businesses and investments. This chapter emphasizes that successful people constantly seek to improve their financial IQ. Kiyosaki encourages readers to use their jobs as a way to gain experience and skills, not just to earn a paycheck. The rich don't settle for job security. They seek financial freedom through learning and self-improvement. 
Rich Dad taught that skills like sales, marketing, and investing are crucial for building wealth. Kiyosaki learned that every job is an opportunity to acquire knowledge that will help you later in life. The chapter explains that the more skills you develop, the more opportunities you will have to grow your wealth. Kiyosaki emphasizes the importance of lifelong learning as a key to financial success. This chapter encourages readers to think of their careers as a platform for gaining the skills needed to achieve financial independence. The rich invest time in learning how to manage money, build businesses, and grow assets. Kiyosaki explains that people who stop learning often get stuck in the same financial situation for life. The chapter highlights the difference between working for money and working to learn how money works. Financial freedom requires developing skills that allow you to create and manage wealth independently. Kiyosaki encourages readers to take control of their education, both formally and informally, to increase their financial IQ. This chapter teaches that investing in yourself is one of the best ways to grow wealth over time. The lesson is clear. To achieve financial freedom, focus on gaining new skills and knowledge, not just earning a paycheck. Chapter 8. Overcoming Obstacles Kiyosaki explains that fear, cynicism, laziness, bad habits, and arrogance are the five obstacles to financial success. The first obstacle is fear particularly the fear of losing money, which prevents many people from taking calculated risks. Rich Dad taught Kiyosaki that failure is part of learning and that the rich learn from their mistakes instead of being paralyzed by fear. The second obstacle is cynicism, which often leads to missed opportunities because of negative thinking and doubt. Kiyosaki learned that cynics are always waiting for perfect conditions, which never come, while the rich act on opportunities. The third obstacle is laziness which prevents people from taking the necessary steps to improve their financial situation. Rich Dad emphasized that the rich find ways to overcome laziness by focusing on their long-term goals. The fourth obstacle is bad habits, such as overspending or failing to save and invest. Kiyosaki explains that many people have the habit of spending more than they earn, which keeps them in financial struggle. The rich develop good financial habits like budgeting, investing, and continuous learning. The fifth obstacle is arrogance, which can prevent people from admitting they need to learn more about money. Kiyosaki explains that financial success requires humility and a willingness to learn from others. This chapter emphasizes that overcoming these five obstacles is essential to achieving financial freedom. Rich Dad taught that the rich see challenges as opportunities to grow and improve their financial strategies. Kiyosaki learned that the ability to overcome fear and obstacles is what separates successful people from others. The chapter encourages readers to face their fears, doubts, and bad habits head-on if they want to improve their financial situation. Kiyosaki explains that everyone experiences setbacks, but the rich learn from them and keep moving forward. This chapter teaches that self-awareness is key to overcoming the psychological barriers to wealth. The rich constantly seek to improve themselves while the poor and middle class often let fear and bad habits control their financial decisions. The chapter concludes by encouraging readers to recognize their obstacles and take action to overcome them. Chapter 9. Getting Started Kiyosaki shares practical steps for getting started on the path to financial independence. The first step is to make the decision to become financially educated and take control of your finances. Kiyosaki encourages readers to set clear financial goals and create a plan to achieve them. He emphasizes the importance of mindset, thinking like the rich and focusing on building wealth. The chapter outlines the importance of self-discipline and being willing to learn from mistakes. Kiyosaki explains that financial success starts with small steps, like budgeting, saving, and investing. The rich invest in their financial education and continually seek to learn more about money management. Kiyosaki shares that taking action is the most important step. Don't just read about financial independence, start working toward it. The chapter emphasizes that financial freedom is a long-term journey, not an overnight success. Kiyosaki advises readers to start small, but to take consistent action toward building assets. He explains the importance of surrounding yourself with financially intelligent people who can support your growth. The chapter encourages readers to take advantage of opportunities to learn, whether through books, seminars, or mentors. 
Kiyosaki explains that having a clear financial plan will keep you focused and motivated on your journey to wealth. The rich are constantly learning and adapting their strategies to grow their wealth. Kiyosaki encourages readers to think of money as a tool for achieving freedom, not just something to earn and spend. This chapter teaches the importance of setting up systems that will help you achieve financial independence, like automatic investing or savings plans. Kiyosaki shares that starting with even small investments can grow over time if you're consistent and patient. The chapter emphasizes that anyone can achieve financial independence if they are willing to put in the work and make smart decisions. Kiyosaki encourages readers to commit to lifelong learning and continually seek to improve their financial literacy. The chapter concludes by reinforcing the idea that the key to success is taking action. No matter where you start, the important thing is to begin. Chapter 10. Still want more? Here are some to-dos. Kiyosaki provides practical steps and actionable advice for readers who want to deepen their financial knowledge and take control of their financial future. He emphasizes that financial education is a lifelong journey and that readers should continue learning about money management, investing, and wealth building. The chapter encourages readers to surround themselves with mentors and financially intelligent people who can guide them on their journey to financial freedom. Kiyosaki recommends finding and joining investment groups or communities where people discuss business, investing, and finance to share ideas and strategies. He stresses the importance of taking action and starting small, such as with small investments or side businesses. Kiyosaki encourages readers to develop the habit of questioning the status quo and thinking critically about conventional financial advice. He advises readers to diversify their investments and seek multiple income streams to achieve financial security and wealth. The chapter emphasizes that building wealth takes time, discipline, and the right mindset, and readers should not expect overnight success. Kiyosaki suggests regularly reviewing and adjusting personal financial goals to stay on track and remain motivated. The importance of continuous self-improvement is highlighted, as Kiyosaki encourages readers to invest in their own personal growth, skills, and knowledge. He advises readers to practice delayed gratification, focusing on long-term goals rather than immediate rewards. Kiyosaki stresses the need to learn from both successes and failures, as they provide valuable lessons for future financial decisions. He encourages readers to be persistent and never give up on their journey toward financial independence, even in the face of challenges. Kiyosaki shares that building wealth is about taking calculated risks and being willing to step out of your comfort zone. The chapter provides strategies for learning more about real estate, stocks, and other investment opportunities, as well as developing financial discipline. Kiyosaki emphasizes the importance of goal setting and creating a clear financial plan to achieve success. He encourages readers to take responsibility for their financial situation and to stop blaming external factors like the economy or government. Kiyosaki shares the importance of building a strong financial foundation by improving financial literacy and learning how to make smart investment decisions. He advises readers to use their creativity to find opportunities to create wealth and not rely solely on traditional methods of earning money. The chapter concludes with Kiyosaki urging readers to stay curious, keep learning, and most importantly, take action to achieve their financial dreams. In summary, in Rich Dad Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki provides a blueprint for breaking free from the rat race and achieving financial independence. The lessons from his Rich Dad emphasize the importance of financial education, building assets, and overcoming fear and self-doubt. Kiyosaki challenges readers to shift their mindset, take control of their financial future, and never stop learning. By applying the principles in this book, anyone can take steps toward creating wealth and living a life of financial freedom. This is the end of the summary of Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. Thank you for staying with us. We appreciate every single one of you for being part of our community. If you've enjoyed the content so far and want to stay updated with more valuable insights, tips, and exciting topics, make sure to hit that subscribe button. By subscribing, you won't miss any of our future uploads, and it helps us continue creating the content you love. We're growing together, and your support means everything. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for the latest updates. See you in the next video.